Hello gamers, it's Softkitty99, the happy gamer, and today we're in House Flipper in the HGTV expansion. And the next house on our list to renovate in the way that we choose to do it is the house with a sea view. So let's take a look at this house. A lovely house near the beach. This house could be a great place for a bigger family. Its main feature is the large terrace with an outlook on the sea. There are two floors as you can see and this is this big terrace that they're talking about in the description. And these stairs, there's quite a majestic staircase that goes up the front of the house isn't it to the entrance on the top storey. And there is an entrance to the lower story on this house as well. So let's take a quick look at the pictures. See, it just it's just a little bit tired. All this wood panelling is quite sort of 70s in feel. And the furniture, of course, needs refreshing and replacing. But the house itself just needs a bit of a spray to get rid of all the dirt, and then it looks fine. And again, wood panelling everywhere, kind of in keeping with the beach theme, but kind of 70s, so it just all needs a nice renovation. And look, they've got double layer of cupboards here for the extra storage space. You know, I've never thought about putting two layers of cupboards in. So, quite a big house, decent size plot of land, £100,000 to purchase the house. So, let us go to our new house and start taking a look at it. Now uh, this one, uh, instead of just touring it like we've done the last few and then renovating it off camera, I thought let's do it a little bit differently. Let's renovate this one on camera. So I think this first episode here will be cleaning it up, spraying the outside, just taking a look at what we've got. I might cut the grass off camera because that's quite a tedious little job. Uh, and then we'll we'll see about renovating the inside probably in the next episode but we'll, we'll give it some thought as to what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of in this one so lovely front gate look here right onto the beach shame that there's a road right in front of you but you are as close to the beach as you can get in our new little space so you've got clear views of the ocean and the whole of the terrace look is all the way along the front of the house perfect views out over the sea so that's a great place for sitting out for the family got some planters look probably remove these and add a little bit of floral decoration rather than just boring ferns though the, the boring ferns would be great if it was a, a rented property because they don't really need a lot of taking care of so can we sell the big trees yeah yeah, I'll I'd, I'd, I'd definitely cut the grass off camera because it just takes so long to think about doing this. These bushes are okay, but they're a bit boring, so we'll get rid of those. Mm, should we chop the tree or should we keep the tree? What do you think? You can't get to trees that tall if you... Uh, go to the shop so I don't know we might keep that actually but I do think we'll uh, oh no, we have to cut them so we'll need to chop 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 little skinny tree down and then oh, it fell on the house you didn't see that <laughs> definitely not the way to do it kitty can we sell this tree or do we uh, yes we can so there's the side door, look, that's the entrance to the ground floor and then you can, or you can go up the wooden stairs to the first floor. So you've got two access, nice access points here. A really tall tree. I'm not sure about these big tall trees. I think we might get rid actually, but we will give that some thought. So let's get rid of that last plant and then let's start spraying the outside of our house. Let's get rid of all as much of this do it as we can let's see can we reach the upstairs sections without having to get scaffolding that would be really great if we can because that will save us a lot of time and effort and stuff won't it yeah there we go that's starting to look better already let's 
So I always remember to spray around where the windows are because there's quite often dirt and stuff on the window ledges and things. So always the best way to do that. So you've got piping at the back there from so I would imagine that there's a oh that's the rain gutter in piping so that doesn't matter where that is as long as there is one let's spray this walkway down and remember these particular tiles on the floor these paving tiles if you sell those you can't actually match them from what's in the inventory for purchase so think carefully before you get rid of those because you won't be able to replace them with that same pattern Right, let's give the stairs a spray as well. I don't know if they, they actually need it, but we'll do it just to be thorough. Right, so remember to get around the pillar here. Quick spray along the front, here, yeah, like so. Make sure it's all around the windows, make sure it's all been cleaned all the way around the pillar again. And that's back to where we started, isn't it? So that's the outside sprayed down here. That looks a lot better. So if we run up the stairs and spray the outside where the porch is. So we can't get to it from this side. All right, so, so. Right, so let's spray the outside where we can reach just to be let's go through onto the balcony and spray along with it make sure all the outside is all nice and clean and then come round here so it's quite a narrow porch on that front area but we've got a big square area at the side here Whoop. Oh, while it was saving, that was a little bit of a, a lag up there. I was moving too fast. <laughs> right, so we've got quite a nice big open square here for furniture. Along the front it's a little bit narrower, so you'll have to be a little bit more careful for where you're going to place furniture. But this big open square here is a good place for some nice pieces of furniture. And then inside... Oh gosh, that carpet's horrible. But you see what I mean with all the panelling? It's all quite sort of 70s wood it's the sort of thing you could keep or you can get rid of you could, so you can kind of embrace a nautical theme and keep it with all the wooden panelled walls though to be honest I think the brown wood is just that little bit too much but if you put the white wood instead you could go for the nautical theme and keep it that way couldn't you or you can repaint everything but I think um, if we clean these things I don't know what state are they they see they just don't still look bad to me I think we'll we will be getting rid of these they just look too weather beaten and worn and I think it just needs replacing and refreshing so they've got like an L-shaped kitchen here and I just think we, we get rid of all of this because it, it just looks too old and sad and I think it, it it's just let's 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 all right oh come on can we oh. Oh no, where are we? Can we? Wait. Oh no. Where are, can't we? Why? Oh. Yes. <laughs> I just couldn't locate it in the. He just wouldn't let me sell it. Alright, you're all going. We're going to start fresh. You're all going. So are you. <laughs> Don't like the way they've done that lighting. Right, and the furniture. I kind of do like this wooden style. Have we got something like that in the... Uh, have we actually got that in the... I don't remember seeing that wooden style. Do we actually have that? Right, so hang on, let's look in HGTV furniture. Chairs? I don't know. Big armchair, wasn't there, with the wood around the back? Do we actually have... Not in there. What about in furniture? Armchair? Do we actually have that one, or is that that one that you can only get in the actual? Is, it, is that one of the things that you can only get as it comes with the game? Or oh, I don't see one. Let me know in the comments if you if there is a chair that looks like that. I don't actually see one anywhere. I kind of like that wooden slatted thing in the back 
of the chair. Oh, I actually wish we had one of those. I really wish we had that, actually. Let's just check if there's anything in sofas there. Wonder where, uh, that's a shame if it isn't in there. There's one or two things I've seen like that that unfortunately don't seem to be in the... Uh, in the Tobai area. I would quite kind of like to, an updated version of that, a nice clean new one with that style. Oh well, we don't appear to have one. So let's see. So up here we've got a really big open space. So this is a great living area and then you come straight out so you can see the, the beach. So it's one of those inverted houses with the bedrooms downstairs and the living space upstairs. And in this particular house that really, really works because you've got these absolute look at that view. That is a phenomenal view, isn't it? Let's just, yeah, let's take a picture of that. That's a phenomenal view. So we've got this great big, lovely, look, that's a huge, wonderful open area space to use, isn't it? And then this, is this a little bathroom? I would imagine it is. Oh, it looks terrible. It looks terrible. <laughs> it looks terrible. Oh, that is a very small space. But it would be really cool to have like a toilet sink area up here, wouldn't it? For the, for the access on the upstairs so that you don't have to run downstairs to the bathroom. So yeah, we definitely want to keep that. How's this front door look? That, look, that actually doesn't look too bad. But you know what? I think we'll possibly put one of those new windows in. Right, hang on. If we do it, let's do cleaning again. All right, do these... Oh, do the windows not need cleaning? That's interesting. I would have imagined that they would want cleaning, wouldn't you? No, 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 it doesn't look like we do need to clean window. Oh, really surprised by that. Okay, so we need to scrubby wubby. As we've got some dirt somewhere. It's usually in the windows, isn't it? So, yeah, look, there's a window again, yeah. Clean it all the way around. Beautiful. Alright, so definitely need to, to get rid of that carpet. It looks awful. It looks absolutely awful, 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 awful. In fact, it looks so bad, let's get rid of it. Right, hang on, it's the floors. Let's look at the HGTV floors, shall we, first quick. Those are those dark colours, aren't they? Uh, floor, floor. I think we want to stick with the wood, don't we, really, up here? Oh, how about the white wood? Yes, let's do that. And in fact, let's do it everywhere. So... Let's go all the way to there. How's that look? Yep, that's probably going to work quite well, actually. Let's go all the way to here. And then let's fill this. Yep. Oh, no, it went out. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it went out. I can't believe it went outside the house. That's crazy. Oh. oh. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. That's what we wanted, thank you. I wish we could change the colour of the stairs, actually, but we can't, so... Oh, there's a little gap here. All right. Ta-da! That's gone one. One too far forward there now. Uh, okay, well, I don't think I can re remove it now. Can we? Actually, can we put wooden... Can we put wood back? <laughs> can we put wood back on that front section? I oh, that's the wrong colour. Never mind, we'll go back to this. Hey, does that mean I can replace this? No, I don't think I can, can I? No, can't replace the rest of the wood outside. That's interesting, isn't it? This has gone that one forward. Right, so that looks much better already. Right, that makes me a lot happier. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Right, so that's given that a quick clean up here. Now, this furniture. So they've had this as like a small seating area. So you could make it a small seating area down here again. But I definitely don't want to keep this furniture stuff because it all looks really, really bad. So let's get rid of all of that. Right, do we need to clean windows? No, it doesn't look like it wants me to clean windows. Right, so let's start by cleaning that. That actually doesn't look too bad. That carpet looks pretty new. So that's one thing you could keep if you wanted to. And there's the access to the outside. And then the stairs are just there 
by there, look. So if we come out here, look, that's the access point there, right. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the door as well. We're going to put new doors in. Actually, let's, let's just let's sell stuff first. So we've got like a small bunk bedroom here. Oh, double bunk beds. Oh, that's quite quite a good place for, for like visitors and stuff, isn't it? Right. Wait, uh, God, have we got a... Oh no, that, that is this, this alcove, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very strange corridor this isn't it it's like a dog leg l shape it's like the like there was a big big room here so you could knock the whole thing out to make a big a bigger room isn't it so is this a bedroom or a bathroom i've forgotten there for, ah bathroom let's get to the door so that's another bathroom a little bathroom downstairs and then we've got a fairly big room here what's this lead into closet so that's the back of the... Is that under the stairs? So that would be where the stairs are, isn't it? There then, yeah. So you can't really use that for anything else. This is a slightly old-fashioned, again, sort of furnishing style. With the half and half, with the half and half boarding and stuff. sell everything up and then we'll, we'll uh, start decorating in the next one. So we've got three bedrooms and a bathroom downstairs. Cleaning. Yeah, so I think we've got three bedrooms and a bathroom downstairs. Great big open plan area, bathroom, kitchen, open plan, bathroom, um, open plan kitchen, living area upstairs. And uh, yeah, so teenager's room, a bit dirty, a bit grubby. And of course they, they decorated it for her as if she was a, a guitarist, didn't they? The girl that they had for the work order job number for this particular house. Oh. Now the pieces of cutlery are a little awkward to pick up, yeah. So that's that, everything there, yeah. So this needs to clean oh so we do have a couple of windows that need to clean so th that's the house then upstairs we've got the open plan living area with a big lounge space and open into the kitchen area with a small but utility size bathroom up there as well great big balcony with a great view of the sea because you're right at the front just a road between you and the beach so that's quite a good one and then Downstairs we have three bedrooms, one's quite big with a small walk-in closet area and then two smaller rooms so the big room would obviously be parents and then you've got up to two kids rooms or a spare room and then there's also a small area for seating so you could make it a small, an extra seating room, a kids playroom or a library area couldn't you so there's pl plenty of scope in this particular one and you've got a big area in the outside as well so you've got a lot of scope for things that you could do with this particular house so bedroom one here is an l-shaped room view out to the front of the house there so that's bedroom one bedroom two they're still decent sized rooms. Bedroom three is the master bedroom with the walk-in closet. Then you've got the bathroom downstairs. That's the bigger of the two bathrooms. And then you've got this small seating area, library, playroom with access to the outside. And then upstairs 
you've got a big open plan living room area look at the size of this that's a lot of things you could do with that small bathroom definitely can only fit a shower in there this is where you've got space for your kitchen which is open plan into your big living area and then access out to your balcony which has got plenty of space for furniture here and an open plan area over here and then you've got these great views of the sea and you've got quite a lot of garden down here as well it's uh, the garden goes all the way around so I think the biggest open bit of the garden is at the, right at the front so right near where you've got the sea again so this is the house with a sea view so that's our cleaning up of it and thinking about what we might want to do with it and in the next one we will start work on the house itself so i hope you've enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one from soft kitty 99 goodbye and happy gaming